Today, we are thrilled to announce the stable release of Android Studio Koala Feature Drop version 2024.1.2. Earlier this year, we announced that every Android Studio version will have two releases, a platform release and a feature drop release. With 2x more releases, we can get important IntelliJ updates out to you faster while Android-specific features ship with higher quality as feature drops. The Koala platform release was launched in June and today we'll walk through the Koala feature drop release. Android Studio is optimized to help you develop applications quickly and effortlessly. Koala feature drop continues this trend with a number of new features. Let's delve into each of these in detail. In addition to the over 20 device models already available, Android device streaming now includes Google Pixel 9, 9 Pro, 9 Pro XL, 9 Pro Fold, Google Pixel 8a, Samsung Galaxy Fold 5, and Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. For first-time Firebase users, Android Studio automatically creates a no-cost Firebase project for you. As a result, you can get to streaming the device you need much faster. We are further expanding the selection of devices available by working with partners such as Samsung, Xiaomi, and OnePlus to allow you to connect to these devices hosted in their device labs. We have an early access program opening up soon. See the blog post for more details. Koala Feature Drop adds support for upgrading projects to Android 15 API Level 35. The Android SDK Upgrade Assistant is a step-by-step -step wizard to help you upgrade your target SDK version. It pulls documentation directly into Android Studio, saving you time and effort. You can find the Upgrade Assistant under the Tools menu. It is now easier to sign in to multiple Google services with one authentication flow. Whether you use Gemini in Android Studio, Firebase for Android device streaming, Crashlytics in App Quality Insights, Google Play for Android Vitals reports, or some combination of these services, the new sign-in flow makes it easier to get up and running. With granular permission scoping, you'll always be in control of which services have access to your account. To get started, click the profile avatar on the top right corner and sign in with your developer account. You can now view snapshots of your Wear OS app styles by including version 1.4 of the Jetpack Tiles library. This preview panel is particularly useful if your tiles appearance changes based on certain conditions such as content that depends on the device's display size or a sports event reaching halftime. Live Edit is now enabled in manual mode by default. It has increased stability and more robust change detection, including support for import statements. Note that starting with Android Studio Koala feature drop, the default shortcut to push your changes in manual mode has been updated to Control Quote or Command Quote on Mac OS. You can customize the shortcut on the Key Map Settings page. Moving on to our second set of features that help with the debugging workflow. Android Studio now detects when it's possible to connect your Android device with a faster USB cable and suggests an upgrade that maximizes your device's capabilities. Using an appropriate USB cable optimizes app installation time and minimizes latency when using tools such as the Android Studio debugger. USB cable speed detection is currently available for Mac OS and Linux. To help you build and debug your UI, we have introduced device UI shortcuts in the Running Devices tool window in Android Studio. Use the shortcuts to view the effect of common UI settings such as dark theme, font size, screen size, app language, and talkback. You can use the shortcuts with emulators, mirrored physical devices, and devices streamed from Firebase Test Lab. Device UI shortcuts are available for devices running API Level 33 or higher. 
Android Studio Koala Feature Drop makes it easy to preview your Jetpack Compose Glance widgets directly within the IDE. Catch potential UI issues and fine-tune your widget's appearance early in the development process or while debugging any UI issues. The Android emulator 35.1 onwards now supports the Pixel 8a virtual device, enabling you to test your apps on the latest Pixel hardware configuration without needing a physical device. Find the new Pixel 8a in the phone category when you create a new virtual device. Moving on to our last set of updates. The profiler's task-centric redesign makes it easier to start the task you're interested in, whether it's profiling your app CPU, memory, or power usage. For example, you can start a system trace task to profile your app's startup time right from the UI as soon as you open the profiler. Popular performance optimization tasks like capturing a system trace with a profilable app now start up to 60% faster. In this version, we have upgraded the IntelliJ platform to 2024.1. This includes many new features such as comprehensive support for the latest Java 22 features, an improved terminal, and sticky lines in the editor to simplify working with large files and exploring new code bases. Let's take a look at quality improvements. Beyond new features, we continue to improve the overall quality and stability of Android Studio. In fact, the Android Studio team addressed over 520 bugs during the Koala feature drop development cycle. And that's a wrap for all the new updates in Android Studio Koala feature drop. If you haven't already, now is the time for you to download this latest version and incorporate these new features into your workflow. As always, we appreciate any feedback on things you like, any bugs you discover, or any new features you'd like to see in the future versions of Android Studio. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with a fellow Android developer. See you next time.